Alright guys, so we are going to complete pages 107 and 108 together. Just as a good practice about how to do this. So, when we come up here at the top, it says to write the number that comes before. So we're looking at each of these numbers and figuring out which number comes before that number. So what I'm going to get do is I'm going to point to the number and I want you to tell me what number it is. And then we'll figure out what comes before it. What's this number right here? It starts with a 4. So that means it's in the 40s family. And it ends with a 1. So we know it is 41. What comes before 41? 40. So in this box, I need you to write 40. Remember, it's the 4 first and then the 0. Move on to the next one. It starts with a 7. Numbers that start with a 7 are in the 70s family. So it is 76. What comes before 76? 75. Now, I'm going to get you to go ahead and pause the video. You might need an adult for help and fi finish these next three problems. And then play the video again and check your answers with me. Alright, so this number right here is 30. What number did you have for right coming before 30? 29. Good. What number is this right here? 65. What number came before 65? 64. Good job. Now this last number right here, this is the number what? 11. What comes before 11? 10. A 1 and a 0. Great job. Let's move on to this next part. Now, the next part is just addition. We've done that before. So, if you need to use your dots, you can use your dots. That's fine. Or you can use your fingers and then tap them on your face. So, what is this number? This number is 2 plus 3. Well, I know that 1, 2 plus 1, 2, 3 is what? 2 plus 3 equals 5. Great job. Go ahead and write 5 in that box. What's this number right here? That's the number 3. 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Good job. Go ahead and pause the video. You can use your fingers, your dots, or just use your brain and remember what all of these different ones are. So go ahead and pause it, answer these next couple addition problems, and then play the video again to check it. Alright, so 2 plus 5 equals, what did you write? 7. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 5 plus 2 equals, what did you get for 5 plus 2? 7. And then this last one right here. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Great job. Now, this next part, we can do it together. It says, fill in the circle beside the object, which is more than one inch long. So, right here, this is the one inch long. So, if it will start right here, and if it goes past this, then it gets a line. Uh, we fill in the dot. But, if it doesn't go past that, we're just going to leave the dot alone. What coin is this right here? It's a penny. Now, does, if we put that penny right here on this line, does it go past here? Mm-mm. So, we're not going to mark that dot. We're just going to leave it alone. 
Now we can't bring the car all the way back to this line, but we can kind of look at the ruler and see if one square is an inch, we see one, two, three. It goes three different squares. So is it longer than one inch? Yes, it is. So go ahead and fill in that dot next to the car. Now, what about this pencil right here? It goes one, two squares. If it goes two squares, that means it's two inches. Is two inches more than one inch? Yes, it is. So go ahead and fill in this dot beside the pencil. Now, this next part is one of our listening activities. It says to write the number that your teacher says. So listen very closely. I'm going to say the number three times, just like in the classroom, and I want you to write the numbers. So we'll, I'll say all of the numbers first, and then I'll come back and write the answers. So if right here in this green skateboard, put your finger on the green skateboard. On the green skateboard, you need to write the number 13. Now, teen numbers start with a one. Thirteen. What number will go at the end of thirteen? Not right now, Liza. I am working. Now, come over here and touch this orange skateboard. Oh, I forgot to say it two more times. I own the green skateboard. Thirteen. On the green skateboard. Please write the number 13. Now touch the orange skateboard. On the orange skateboard, write the number 96. 96. Numbers, if it's in the 90s family, it starts with a 9. 96. Now touch that purple skateboard for me. You're going to write the number 54. 54. If it's in the 50s family, it starts with a 5. So this is 54. Let's go back and check. So on the green skateboard, you wrote the number 13. 13 is a 1 and a 3. Now make sure you did not write a 3 first and then a 1 because that's not the same thing. It needs to first be the three, 1 and then the 3. Move on to the skateboard. You were writing 96. So the first number is the 9 and then the 6. Then right here on the purple skateboard, you're going to write 54. So it should first be the 5 and then the 4. Let's move on to the back side now. On the back side, you're going to write the number that comes after. So look at this number right here, 29. What number comes after 29? 30. So you'd write 30. Go ahead and finish all the rest of these across the top and then come back and check. So pause it first and then come back. All right, so this number is what? 64. What comes after 64? 65. What is this number? 40. What comes after 40? 41. What is this number? 75. What comes after 75? 76. And this is the number 10. What comes after the number 10? 11. Now this next part, you're going to read the time on the clock. Remember, the big hand points up, it's O'clock. 
the big hand points down, it's 30. And for every other number, you're going to count by fives. So you're going to read the time on the clock and then find which one matches. Go ahead and do that. And then come back and check. Pause your video now so you can do that. All right, so this time says five, because the short hand's pointing at the five, five, 10, 15. So this clock is five, 15. I'm gonna draw the line to five, 15. Now this one right here, it's just past the one, not at the two yet, so it is one, 30. Gonna draw a line to one, 30. Here, it's the big hand's pointing up, so it's an o'clock. The little hand's pointing at the six. So it is six o'clock. And then this last one right here, it's just past the nine, but not to the 10 yet. So it's still in the nine o'clock time. So it is 9.30. Make sure you drew that line here. Now you should be able to do the re this part by yourself. Go ahead and solve those addition problems and then come back and check. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Good job. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 6 plus 1 equals 7. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Now come down here. The instructions say color. What is this number word right here? 7. Color 7. So you'll color 7 of these helicopters. Now there are more than seven. Should you color all of the pictures? Mm-mm, only color seven. So go ahead and figure out how many seven is and then color only those seven. Great work today.